Hi everyone, welcome to this video with me, Sammy. I'm taking a look here at getting drum samples out of your loops. So if you have a bunch of drum samples, you probably have a mixture of one shots and drum loops. Now, with some libraries, the drum loops are really interesting. There's a lot of post-processing and a lot of different sounds are mixed in there. So if you grab those sounds, you can often get a more interesting sample. So it's not a very advanced technique or anything, but I'm just gonna go through some loops and show you some examples of sounds that I would choose and uh, select those sounds and then process them. At the very end, I'll also go through a little bit of music I made just with sounds extracted this way. Now this is a bit of a long video because when it comes to production videos, I actually prefer watching the entire process, uh, all the boring uh, slow parts as well, because it gives me an idea of how somebody starts from zero and gets a result. And when stages get left out, I do end up feeling just a little bit lost. So I'm gonna do my best to show you at least in the first part, uh, everything that I do when I'm taking samples out of loops. So let's get started. So this first loop here is a good example of something that I wouldn't actually use as is in production. Just got too many obvious elements and it's a bit too stylized, but there are a lot of great individual sounds here we can use. So let's take a look. Let's take a listen to our first sound here. That's a very basic click, so I'm not gonna use that. And this is an interesting sound right here. Notice as well you have immediate playability of the pitch when you're sampling. So this sound has an interesting bass tone. I'm just going to zoom in on this here. And now we'll start some basic processing. We'll bring the filter down, add in some drive, which is really good and simpler. I'm actually going to put a limiter on the master fader right away. And one of the things we're going to do right away is just throw some processing on it as well to give it some more character, make it more interesting. So I'm going to grab OTT. What's interesting about this is it brings out the tail and extends the sample and brings out the quiet information. Now, if you don't have Ableton and you don't have this plugin right here, Extra Records who make Serum have a free plugin, which I believe is based on this or it's very, very similar, if not identical. So I'm going to engage the filter envelope next add in some modulation. This will give it a bit more of a dynamic sound. This is a good example of grabbing a sound out of a loop because we've got our first section here, which is one sound or transient. And then right after that, there's something else added onto it. Now what becomes very interesting with this is when you put this in a drum loop and it's at a different tempo, you actually get some very interesting swing and groove results. Okay, so let's move on to the next sound a nice thump. We'll bring in a few more processes here though. I'm going to bring in VC160. This is from Native Instruments. Very snappy compressor. Then I'm going to bring in Native Instruments Driver because it adds really good distortion. So another thing that helps me out in this process is to just throw in a good kick, just to get a better idea of how the sample works in the context of a beat. It's a very deep sound, so I'm quite happy with this and I'm going to save it. So I'm just going to minimize everything here and we'll highlight it all by holding shift and then right clicking and we'll group it. So I'm going to save it here. You can see I've got quite a few of these already made. I'm going to go save this as a tom.
All right, so let's move on now. And this is even better. I'm just going to try it out at different pitches. Just to get an idea of the range. So I'll save this and let's move on. All right, so this is a clap. I'm just going to turn this down. I'm not really looking for claps right now, especially not this one, but I'll just show you how I would grab this. I'm going to shorten it up as well, add a bit of processing, and see how it turns out. I do like very short, snappy claps like this. So I'm just going to add a little bit of reverb here, just give it a bit more context. So that's a nice little clap sound there. Just going to grab that and save that and let's move on. Now this is a cool sample here with some chord sounds. And just for reference, let's listen to the original sample. So it's quite interesting that already just using the processing we've already engaged, this sounds quite different from the original source material. A good part of the character of this sound actually comes from the modulation of the high pass filter here. Now just to make things a bit more interesting, let's try out the disperser. And I'll likely do a video on this plugin in the future all of its own. It's a very interesting effect. All right, so I'll save that as a chord. And another nice thing about this is when I do want to bring this back into a project, I have full control over all the elements that go into how it sounds. Let's try the Faturator. It's a neat distortion plugin.
really like this. It's really deep. And that distortion and saturation really gives it such a nice quality. So I'm going to save that now as chord 2, and let's move on. So this is a cool hi-hat sound, and there's also a little bit of the sound from the next sample or transient in there, and this is really adding a nice rhythmic or groove element to this. So I'm actually going to let that extra transient play in some of these notes and not the others, just to enhance the groove. And the nice thing here is we can use the note length to basically decide whether we hear that extra transient come in or not. This sounds pretty cool because of the lead in. I can move the start point around and again it will change the groove and the feel of this beat. comes in quite late there, gives it a real nice swing. And I quite like that, so I'll save that and move on. So now let's take a look at a bit of music together with a bunch of different sounds that I've pulled from different loops. Now the synth sounds here are from Repro5, a bank I've been working on. And this sound right here is basically what prompted this project. And I'll bring in the samples bit by bit. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'll be making more drum videos coming up soon. If you have any comments, I enjoy reading them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and take care.